Hello and welcome back to Go Fund Yourself. Today I'm going to share a few lessons I learned in my first month of investing, as well as give you a few tips you might want to follow. My name is Andrew and this is not a financial advice, so please do your own due diligence before investing. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, press that subscribe button. We will start with a very well known saying from Warren Buffett. Rule number one, never lose money. Rule number two, never forget rule number one. This is one of the main rules Warren Buffett goes by. Nobody likes losing money, especially when investing, but sometimes we all make some bad choices. Even Warren Buffett during 2008 crisis have lost $26 billion. So what is he referring to when he says that? The main takeaway of this saying is the mindset of sensible investor. Don't be carefree, don't gamble, don't go into investment with the attitude that it's okay to lose money. Be informed, do your homework, do your due diligence, research about the company. Buffett only invests into the companies he understands. He doesn't go into investment prepared to lose, neither should we. Pay off your credit cards every month. All your credit cards should be paid in full every single month, so you wouldn't need to pay interest. If you plan to start investing before finishing this step, that's gonna be counterintuitive. If you are paying interest, you're losing money straight away. So it's always better to cover your debt first before starting investing, and that of course will increase your credit score with time as well. Third tip is to start investing as soon as possible. Every single year in a stock market will give you extra returns, extra profits, extra dividends. The earlier you start investing, the stronger snowball effect you can build. I started investing this year, I'm 27 years old and that's already 9 years late to the game. Those 9 years would have given me a massive head start, taught me a lot more lessons than I know now, helped me learn more about the stock market and what not to do. And of course, in those nine years, I would have became a lot more successful in my investing portfolio. Stop trying to time the market. The main problem with timing the market, it rarely works out. Of course, some traders might be lucky and manage to time it correctly, but nobody can consistently predict short-term market movements. Markets? Are often illogical and unpredictable. It's way better to slowly invest into stock market over time. This will allow you to understand a fair price in the market, average down your initial purchase price and would most likely make you more money in the long run. Because while you're waiting to time the market, you aren't in a market and you're not making that money. Don't see a D trade. From my personal experience as a new trader, CFD trading is only attractive to the people that want to day trade using leverage. I myself have lost way more money CFD trading than I got back out of it. And that makes sense as well. Every single CFD trader has these warnings. Between 74 to 89% of retail traders lose money while trading CFDs. CFD trading can be quite risky due to low industry regulation, potential lack of liquidity and the need to maintain adequate margin due to leverage losses. Avoid penny stocks. You don't invest into penny stocks. The only reason you would go and do such a thing is if you want to gamble your money. The penny stocks market is highly manipulated. It is full of pumps and dumps and people with higher capital will do way better than you. Penny stocks have a very low volume so you literally have to go and find people that will buy or sell at your price. Just because somebody bought a stock at 450 literally a second ago, that doesn't mean that there will be another person wanting to buy for exactly the same price. In my eyes, penny stocks in a lot of cases are just scams. There are stocks manipulated by people with a lot higher capital than me. That's why I stay away from the penny stocks and I would never consider trading penny stocks in the future. Be realistic about your profits. In today's world where we can just go on YouTube and found tens of thousands of videos telling us we can double up our money in a week's time, we can time stand in a week's time, etc. You know, that is just some crazy number. These things don't happen often. In GameStop case, that is the situation that will probably never repeat itself again. 
to have shorted the company over 100%. I don't think any hedge fund will do that again, but only time will tell. Getting 10% returns a year is already pretty good numbers, I would say. Considering Warren Buffett, who is the greatest investor of all time, has returned an annual average of 20.5% a year. So please, everyone, don't get hooked on this idea that you can keep doubling your money every single week, etc. Because that's not true. Be serious about investing. Research the companies you want to invest. Do your own due diligence. Invest into what you believe. And be serious about it. That is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, subscribe and comment below. Have a lovely day, everyone.